there's the logo. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. This is the start of a new experiment in my attempts to have something like an online presence. This is me as an author playing through a game and talking about it from a story and authorial perspective. And I decided to opt for one that is entirely new to me, Half-Life. Well, when I say entirely new, full disclaimer, I have, I have watched footage of this online and I'm going to start a new game now, but I have played through the tutorial and some of the opening section already just to get a feel of this and full disclaimer this game I got on my Steam account when it was having a free um, a free thing a free what's it, whatever it's called um, a, a sort of an anniversary giveaway yours to keep forever this is um, Actually, I need to get a thing. Uh, they're, they're, they're called headphones. The reason for that is that I don't want the speakers intruding on stuff. Um, I'm not going to keep it too loud so I can still hear other stuff and also so I can... Uh, we go. Lovely. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazard. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment. Oh, it doesn't let me start it too much. Holographic assistant. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Yeah, um, it is interesting. Out of, I mean, I don't know whether this was in the original game, but out of all the characters that are in this game that I've seen, this is the only one that's a female. And I do wonder, oh yeah, this, this, I mean, it is good that there's an independent training thing, so you're not forced to the tutorial every time, but, uh, also a nice little bit of world building. I wonder if I can go down there. <gasps> uh, doesn't look like it. Oh well. What? Wrong way. Okay. Oh, no, the right way. Moving around in your HEV suit. I know how to move around, thank you very much. No, no secret writing. This is very of its time architecture, but also strangely suitable when it comes to the story, the atmosphere that it's building up, because Oh, wow, I didn't notice this first time going through. Nice patterns. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. Hop! Hop! Hi! being watched. Then it's a trading area. Now we will combine the two. Good work. We will be prepared for the next phase. To get into these parts, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and use the suit. Well Okay, that is something about this game. The controls are a bit fiddly. At least the controls as I've encountered them so far. Oop. Next zone. What the heck? Oh. Walk 
directly into the ladder to look up and continue moving forward. If you want to come down to the just move forward. The next three jumps get harder. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. This is great world building. This is very um Long jumping requires its own charging module. See here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're off. Woo! Nice job. You know, the first time I tried that when I was doing the tutorial, I had to try it five times, six times. I really didn't do it very well. I do not apologize for rushing through this slightly because um or the kit is depleted. Once well, the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. This is a really good design for the suit. I mean, you don't really see it in normal gameplay because as far as I can tell most of the people you come across are guards or scientists or soldiers. And yeah, I mean Honestly, why are there more women in this in this game in this whole thing? I mean, I mean, there's an obvious reason. There's a <laughs> there's an obvious ludo narrative reason for that, if that's the right term. And it's to spin that bridge. Walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Fantastic. Mm. Nope. Next zone. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, you can just... Right, now I need to... Push physics in this game are really fiddly. flashlight drains power so switch it off when you don't need it and of course a requisite um, obviously a requisite thing for any engineer is um, a gun practice why any kind of scientist or engineer Welcome would need gun practice I have no. where you will receive training in firing a weapon reloading and firing the attached grenade launcher Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around Press again. <laughs> Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. I've just realized I may have mapped my record button to the reload button without thinking. Commencing sequence. Oh well. Five, four, three, two, one.
Do, do, do. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you Come on. I want to climb out of the water, not... Uh, uh, ahem. Nope, nothing up there. They're just, uh, yeah, <laughs> they're feeding the pool. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running around, step up to any charger and press your unit switch. Your suit will recharge gradually. If you pass through fire, proximity to radiation activates the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also hmm. located with aluminum fiber. Can you not? You can sort of tell that this is in the same universe as the as a portal, because some of their stuff. Please advance to the next area. Not particularly employee friendly. I know that's maybe a bit of a spoiler for some people, but you know. Nice lift. Nice square lift. I hope I get to work on time after this. Whoops! Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the Press your use key to engage the head. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Need to get out of here fast! <laughs> That's not what I intended to do! <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I wonder if that'll be a black mark on my, um... Uh, black mark on my record, perhaps? <laughs> that unfortunate incident, we begin our first day at work. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, what the flipping heck? <laughs> Why did they allow that? I mean, like this. <laughs> Ooh, world building. And yes, this is actually, um, for all it can get a bit grindy and repetitive on re any repeat playthroughs you do this is actually very good world building because basically it's lots of environmental storytelling sprinkled in to a fully interactive opening section and this is something that really hasn't been done before i mean it's a bit <sighs> passe i suppose maybe today but then we're so used to this kind of thing and we're also used to you know things giving more having more respect for players time well um ideally we all know that not all games have respect for players time some of them have the opposite of that um and i'm not going to skip this i don't think i could skip this if i wanted to i'm just going to let it carry on slowly and surely I'm not actually no listening to it because um, I have heard it before on um, streams that I've watched Please and it's a case of oh, I don't really want to listen to it again. Also I've listened to it already when I did the, as I said, first bit of a playthrough of this and I'm glad I put this on easy because that turret, on, I think on any higher difficulty that turret would have made mincemeat out of me. Ooh, <laughs> Oh, no, what's that? It's, uh, oh, it's just, it's just a scientist in front of an odd texture. Also, some people may be wondering why I'm not playing Black... Some people who um, decide to click on this video may be wondering why I'm not playing the Black Mesa sort of fan-developed, officially endorsed remake. 
and maybe I will sometime if I, you know, if I decide to get it because I'm not entirely sure whether I'd want to because I mean I enjoyed someone else playing it but I'm not entirely sure I'd enjoy playing it myself. I'm a bit picky when it comes to my choices of games. Subject Gordon Reed, May of age 27. Ooh, two years younger than me. PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. So of course he needs to be a physician research associate trained in using a gun. Assignment, anomalous materials laboratory. Um, do you need gun training for that? Clearance level three. Do you need gun training for that? I mean, honestly, truly, do you need gun training for any of this? Position sponsor, classify. Disaster response priority, discretionary. I really wonder if there's any part of this that's driven by player um, choice. From what I've seen, it doesn't look like it. It looks as if it's all very scripted. Maybe it's a case of um, you can leave others in danger. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I'm gonna play this basically blind, so we can see how this how this goes, how this trundles along. Down we go. Now. I can remember the that there's a G, the, the mysterious G-Man appears. Ah! There you are! It's him. There he is. If you feel you have I see you. Yeah, the G-Man really plays into a lot of stereotypes, specifically American stereotypes around um, special safe, secret service types. Because there was, there was, there is a lot of popular mistrust remaining in public imagination because they were up to some shady stuff back in the day and you know when your own government isn't trustworthy you have the I you can get the pop culture idea of well maybe all these people aren't actually working for our benefit um, because as we forget half-life is very much it sort of plays into elements of that Roswell alien era of slightly conspiracy theory-esque science fiction. Yeah, the motor controls for this are really jerky. I'm wondering if there's an option there where you can move slower or quicker. I'm going to put my headphones on now. Put my headphones back on, so I know what's going on. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Well, uh, I can try. Come on. Ah, good. You know, when I first played this section, I didn't actually... The, the doors didn't do anything. Well, off I go. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I, uh, <laughs> Hello there. Ah, it's good to see you. Hmm. Most nervous simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Is he wearing to make that squeaking noise? Ah. Hello. And 
Here we go. Um, the hazardous environment suit. Oh, A G V. We go. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, hello, Warden Freeman. It's good to see you, sir. fact I well two fun facts first I got lost when I first tried to do this section before this particular playthrough that I'm recording second I my playthrough session when I was doing some testing for recording ended when I fell down the lift shaft <laughs> there are so many loading screens. Ah, Gordon, there you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Thank We've you. Boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to one hundred five percent. The what? Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Oh, but it's a gamble. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. Yes, I know. Now, can one of you kindly open this door? I'm half an hour late as it is. Very. <laughs> There's a particular aesthetic to the 1990s era of science fiction that is very a combination of high tech and low tech. supposed to joke around like that. Extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. She's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. <laughs> well, go ahead. Let's, let's I go. have confidence in sunshine. No, wrong, uh, wrong song. Whee! Okay. Go up. I'm going to see if I can get past the Resonance Cascade. Scanning. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start to roll. Already climbed up, thank you. get this done.
Oh yes, I should probably some kind of warning to people who are mild, even mildly epileptic that perhaps be careful watching the next section because, uh, yeah. Does look cool. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the breathing will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors two to a one four or five percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm sure your small discrepancy is well, no, it's well within the sensible bounds. Sustaining sequence. Classic science fiction stuff. You know, of, oh, it's slightly weird, but there's nothing to worry about. Trust us! Oh dear, I'm down to 30 health. <laughs> that wasn't what I intended. Uh, whoops. Ooh, it's all gone dark. Inventive the um, aliens got. Oh, so these are relatively conventional. Oop. I'm what? I'm late by 30 minutes and the whole place falls apart. I mean, really? I wonder if they gave me weapons. I wonder if they gave me weapons training to defend me from these people when they inevitably tried to. I don't know. Come on, open up, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wah! Needs to still work. Up, and now I need to stay back and away from the first time I tried this section. Uh...
med I need a med kit. I need a medical thing and fast. something in here. Uh, you know, something really makes me think. There's a very real chance that uh, many people would have considered this a survival horror back in the day, or at least later. <laughs> and <laughs> this is me a first time for me playing this, so uh, obviously a lot of amat probably amateurish mistakes that I'm making in terms of s things that I maybe should be doing but I'm not. Ah, I need a med station! I need a med station! Okay. Even on easy, this game is punishing. going on oh, come on it has Last.
trying to... Oh, dear. Wide of an area, never a good sign. Well, that's something, I suppose. No, 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 First person shooter by eye. Okay, I take it, well. Okay, how the heck do I? Um. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think I'll save here. And bid you farewell for this recording session because this was a time. This is an audio coder to my attempt to do something on, in the way of an author analysis kind of thing of Half-Life. This game is very hard by my standards and I will not be continuing it.
but I think it, I will upload it for the purposes of amusement for people who have been able to get the hang of this game even when playing on easy so yeah <laughs> enjoy my somewhat aborted attempt to play a true classic see ya